Forget the graceful flips and playful clicks. Deep beneath the waves of the ancient past, lurked something far more unhinged. These weren't your friendly neighborhood dolphins. Imagine razor-sharp teeth, hunting in bloodthirsty packs, and a taste for leviathans that would make even the fiercest shark blush. We will start with the Kentrion. This group of early dolphins lived during the Miocene period, which is about 23 to 5.3 million years ago. Since Kentriodon is one of the oldest members of the dolphin family, it tells us a lot about how ancient cetaceans evolved into modern dolphins. Kentriodon fossils have been found in many places around the world, such as North America, Europe, and Asia. This shows that these dolphins lived in a lot of different areas. In comparison to modern dolphins, Kentriodon was pretty small. It was thought to have been about 2 to 3 meters long. Kentriodon has a shape that is a mix of basic and developed traits. Its head was longer and smaller than that of modern dolphins. However, its teeth were more homodont, which means they were more regular in shape, unlike the teeth of some current species. The way its flippers and spine are built says that Kentriodon was well-suited to living in water and could swim quickly, which is a trait of dolphins that have evolved over time. Based on the shape and wear patterns of its teeth, Kentriodon probably ate fish and small sea animals. During the Miocene, this genus was very important to marine ecosystems. It was both a hunter and a prey species for bigger marine animals, like sharks and larger cetaceans. Paleontologists study remains of the Kentriodon to learn more about how dolphins evolved and how they changed to live in water. The genus is very important for the study of the changes in shape that happened during the shift from old whale relatives to the more evolved forms seen in marine dolphins today. Up next, we have Squalodon. Squalodon is an interesting group of extinct dolphins that lived in the seas from about 33.9 million years ago to 5.3 million years ago during the Oligocene and Miocene epochs. These extinct cetaceans are known for having teeth with jagged edges, which are very different from dolphins' current teeth, which are shaped like cones. Actually, the name Squalodon comes from the Latin words squalus, which means shark, and odon, which means tooth which shows how their teeth look like sharks. Some of the first toothed whales, odontocetes, were squalodon species. They help us understand how ancient whales evolved into the more evolved dolphins and porpoises we see today. Their fossils show that they had a body that was a bit longer than average and a brain structure that suggests they used a primitive form of the collocation, a skill that our modern relatives have improved a lot. This change would have helped squalodon hunt and find its way around the old seas, Fossils of Squalodon have been found in Europe, North America, and South America, among other places. This shows that they lived in a lot of different sea sayings and were able to adapt to them. Their appearance in such a wide range of places also tells us a lot about the paleoceanography of the time they lived in. Even though they look very basic, Squalodon has traits that are similar to both extinct whales and current dolphins. This makes them an important link in the evolutionary tree of cetaceans. Understanding Squalodon helps paleontologists put together the complicated puzzle of how whales and dolphins evolved over millions of years. It shows how these amazing animals changed to live in water. Lastly, we will discuss Urhinodelphus. There was a group of dolphins called Urhinodelphus that lived during the Miocene era, about 15 to 20 million years ago. They are now dead. This group is especially interesting because of the unique ways it looks and the role it plays in development. Its rostrum or beak was much longer than dolphins' beaks today, which is what makes Rukinodelphus unique. It's likely that this long nose helped it find food in the soft sands on the sea bottom, where it could catch fish and small cephalopods. Based on fossils, Urinodelphus may have had a body shape similar to dolphins today, which would have made it good at swimming. The remains of Urinodelphus show that it had well-developed fins and a strong tail fluke. These features suggest that it lived a busy hunting life in the oceans during the Miocene period. Jurgen of Delphus had sharp, cone-shaped teeth that were great for grabbing slippery food. One important thing about Jurgen of Delphus is that it helps us understand how cetaceans evolved. The genus has traits in common with both extinct toothed whales and current dolphins, which helps us understand the forms that evolved between these two groups. Paleontologists have learned more about how Jurgen of Delphus evolved into the highly specialized eating and moving systems that dolphins have today by studying remains of the animal. So those prehistoric dolphins, mind blown, right? Leave a comment below if you ever want to see a great white shiver its fins. For more wild explorations of the past, 
be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell.